All right, welcome everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Amcrest HD 1080p webcam model AWC 201B. I've had pretty good luck with Amcrest's image quality on their security cameras, so this webcam should be no different. It has a one-third Sony CMOS image sensor, and as noted, it is 1080p, supporting 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. It includes a 4mm lens, 70-degree field of view, it has a high sensitivity mic and works with USB 2.0 for plug and play operation. Inside the box here, we should have the 1080p HD webcam, an included privacy cover, threaded tripod attachment, and user manual. So let's open it up and see what we have in here. This appears to be the privacy cover. It includes its own tripod. And inside this plastic bag, we have the Amcrest webcam, and inside the box is the remaining manual. And on the back of the manual, it indicates that since this is a plug-and-play USB device inside Windows, it should show up under your device manager under sound, video, and game controllers as an HD webcam USB if Windows picked it up okay. So now let's put this aside and unwrap our goodies and see what we have here. Okay, so yep, that is the privacy cover. Let's take a better look at the tripod. You got your standard kind of octopus leg tripod with threaded attachment. So this camera can use any kind of uh, threaded tripod attachment if you have your own. Now let's see what we have here in the main package. All right, so there's our webcam. On the bottom here, you can see the threaded tripod attachment. Looks like this can flip out. Yep. So if you don't want to install this Amcrest webcam on the tripod that's included, you can set this on the edge of your monitor using this little channel groove here, and it kind of just clamps on real nice. Uh, looks like we have a generous amount of USB cord to reach where we need to get to on our computer if it's a little bit farther away. The Amcrest webcam's USB cord is six feet in length, but it is hard attached to the camera here on the back. So if you needed to extend that beyond the six foot length, you would need to get some sort of adapter to connect it to another USB cable to reach your computer. But I don't think that should be a problem in most people's situations. And on the left side of the Amcrest webcam, you can see the microphone port and the four millimeter lens there dead center with the Amcrest logo to the right. So now we're gonna go ahead and install this Amcrest webcam into my computer and then do some video comparisons. So I'm gonna mount this on top of my monitor. And if you're not happy with the angle of the camera, you can actually tilt it up and down while keeping it mounted on top of your screen. So as soon as I plugged in the Amcrest webcam to my USB port, it was picked up by Windows as a webcam and started up right away. You don't get any kind of actual control software to use with this Amcrest webcam. So it's gonna be reliant upon um, any kind of um, recording software that you have on your computer, whether that be something like the adjustments you get out of Skype or Google Hangouts or like a, Open Broadcast Studio, OBS, something like that. Now in the back here, I have my Canon 70D DSLR. Mounted now on the monitor in front of me, I have my Amcrest webcam. And now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the Amcrest webcam now so that you can compare. And here we are. And as you can see, uh, all of our vertical lines, they kind of get, let's see if I can do this in the mirror, uh, they kind of get this fisheye distortion um, in the background. And that's due to the four millimeter lens, which gives you a huge, like a very wide field of view um, off the camera. And you'll notice that the colors are a little bit washed out and like way off uh, compared to, you know, a really expensive camera. So this is decent. All right, so now to test out the microphone on the Amcrest webcam. Right now you're listening to me off of this dedicated microphone down below. So now I'm gonna go ahead and read off some very uh, riveting information out of the manual here while you're listening to me through the Amcrest webcam's microphone so that you can hear the difference in audio quality. Note the webcam does not require the use of additional software to function. All adjustments to quality or other settings will be performed by the third-party software that is being used to view your camera. All right, so now we're back. And uh, as you could probably tell, that audio sounded super muffled and low. Uh, I'm not that far away at all, as you can see, like we're, we're pretty close here. And uh, it's kind of a deal breaker for me that my quality is uh, unacceptable if you're trying to use this as like a standalone webcam. Um, the video is acceptable to me. So uh, as a workaround, if you wanted to use just a very cheap, you know, 1080p webcam for just video and get yourself um, an external mic, 
I think you'd be, you know, 100% a okay. This is certainly a step up from a lot of people's like 720p uh, webcams. Um, the resolution certainly there, where you could have a, a nice face-to-face -face conversation with someone at work. You know, obviously we're in these uh, wonderful coronavirus times. All right, so I'm going to be putting more information about this Amcrest webcam down in the description of the video below. And if you have any other questions, be sure to hit me up in the comments section. Please click on the like button if you found this video review helpful. Consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.